So I've come across a situation several times where people have wanted to do things for free or people haven't really had a meaningful conversation about how much they're going to pay you. And this is why agencies exist. Agencies are often, they have a person who's totally focused on how to get you that price and position you. And then you just have to turn up and do the work and the relationship, the commercial relationship has been taken care of. But if you're a freelancer who works for yourself, it sometimes feels uncomfortable to talk about money. And also it's hard sometimes when a client says, well, I can't afford that. I can only afford, I can't afford that much. I, I, I don't have that much money. So the way I deal with that is I have a few strategies. One strategy is, is if the customer is not sure of the worth of something, then I offer to do a little bit of work so that they can truly understand the value. And I make sure that's a discrete set of work, something concrete where I'm giving them some value, but then they're also, I'm also opening up their eyes to the full value. The other thing is to say, what's your budget? And if they tell, tell me a number that is impossible, I tell them upfront, it's not possible for me to do this work on that budget. I don't necessarily just say no. I might say I can do these things for that budget, but I won't be able to completely deliver the product you're after. And it may be better that you use a different person or that you rethink your budget if you want this outcome. I think the toughest thing is the difference between naive customers who have a vision for doing something amazing and sophisticated customers who understand that they're hiring you for a certain X factor a certain level of fluency or even virtuosity that they've recognized in you and they're prepared to pay you 10 times more than somebody else in the marketplace because they know that you've got this extra X factor. That is tough. Managing the difference between those two types of customers is a problem that every business struggles with. So just really being open to understanding what that X factor it is that you're doing and then analyzing okay, could I survive with three of those kinds of customers and I'm not going to need to have 20 of those kinds of customers to be able to make rent. That's really a challenge that every freelancer will face and it's something that you need to perhaps take time out and think about strategically. What kind of work do I like doing? Am I happy doing a whole bunch of things that are quite mechanical or do I want to be slightly higher up the value chain and do things that are more directive, more creative, more intrinsic to the value that that customer is going to get. Where do I want to position myself on that? And uh, moving from more of a transactional stage to that higher level stage is also often the trajectory of a freelancer's career over time.